you feel within, turning your inside cold and still. That's my curse, the touch of Lydusa. So you will answer my questions and do as I say. Tell me why a wicked beast intrudes upon this secret place. Exploration is thin-veiled shelter for intrusion. You wish to steal from me, like all the other wicked beasts. We'll take anything from Lydusa. Not anymore. But what's most precious to me has already been taken. The wicked beasts, the hooved ones, they stole Lydusa's precious thing. Without it, I can't tell my singing stones to cease their song of wrath. Yes, the singing stones belong to Lydusa. Once they sang only sweetly. It was my magic that first sung them to life. A song to make them twirl and dance like wind-caught sand. But the wicked beasts twisted my sweet song to screams. I screamed and screamed. Now, poor Lydusa has lost something precious. The beasts stole it and locked it away. I can't sing without it. You, Huffless Beast, will find my precious thing and return it to me. Only then will I free you from Lydusa's Stone Touch curse. I... I... I don't remember. But it was precious to me. And it was sundered. Stolen. Without it. I am Shadow Split. I am not me. I am not Lydusa. When you find it, Beast, you will know that it's mine. That it is precious. Now go, before you become petrified and useless. Ask. I have not spoken to anyone in so long. to them. What happened to them? Ask their corpse dust what happened to them. The wicked beast took what was not theirs. Now their squished flesh rots into loam. Lydusa was kind. She gave and gave. Wisdoms, magics, even the sweet lilted song of the stones. But it was not enough for the beasts. Never enough. Not even in the end. Wicked, wicked beasts. They deserved their deaths and more. This wistful, empty hollow was the throne room of Huth King Thalos. But I didn't visit him here. No, not once. I couldn't stand the mollycoddles of the mortals. Yet I sense him here still. His life's imprint, drifting in the dust memory of this hollow. So I stay. My Thanos, 
son of Kulket and king of the Hooved. He arrived at this land lost and blighted, and one day stumbled upon my sleepy grotto. He sung me the sad song of his people, fractured from their herd. Such a poor and pitiful beastie he was. Sweethearted Lydusa cured him of his plague blight in exchange for a year and a day. A year and a day spent with me. Is it? I've taken naps quite longer. How fleeting mortals are. Thalos and I spent each day together. I taught him the song of the stones. And we sang and danced atop the cliff tops. From dawn till dusk. Our bond peaked higher than the mounts, or and deeper than the depths. A bond no other beast could ever understand. Oh, how I did not wish him to go. But he was a hoof king, and his people were his heart's grotto. He returned to them, and as a final gift, I taught him the cure touch for his people's blight. He built me a temple within his golden city, and he would visit me again and again, for I would not allow his life song to fade. But then, he was taken from sweet Lydusa. Taken. Stolen. Taken by the wicked beasts. Terrible wicked beasts. I will speak of them no more. The only one here, but not the only spirit. My sisters have all scatter danced to the wind to spread flower bloom and newborn springs. Only steadfast, lonesome Lydusa remains. I cannot go, beast. Not until I take back what is mine. Not until I'm me again, unbroken from all these pieces. Made whole. Until then, I remain here. So that is the dreadful stench drenched upon you. Hoofed ones, here. No, no, no. They should all be gone. My singing stones will crush this wonder hoof. <laughs> this beast is as naive as a newborn pebble. The hoofed ones are all muck and dirt water on their inside. Soft, sweet Lydusa taught them the song of the stones. Singing stones to heat their food pots, cradle their little ones, carry their packs. Yet still they took. Still they stole. Still they hurt. I too trusted them once. I thought them harmless. But only lovely Thanos was a gem carved from a different rock. And the wicked ones took him too. This Wanderhoof had dare not intrude upon my Deuce's secret place. Or my singing stones will shred him through. No more. No more. So long, beast. I won't lift my curse touch until you find my precious thing. 